I've been talking so much about like what projects I want to like well not about the projects but just like how I want to like go on moving forward we're gonna do pay, a pay to play <sighs> we're gonna do pay to play and you know why because I want to I want to have fun man I want to just start off the stream nice have some great fun I also will buy both beavers We'll buy both beavers just because I want to get to a level two. I just want, I want to have fun, man. We're gonna be the naughty organisms. That's how exactly that's exactly how I feel right now. I feel naughty about not eating my goddamn breakfast. I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, if you end up liking the video, I ask that you give a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. I stream on YouTube and Twitch every day, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p uh, from 12 p.m. Eastern to about 5 p.m. Eastern. We usually have fun here. Should have frozen the, the what's it called, by the way? The the honey. Didn't. I'm a moron. That's life. Sometimes we're just morons. It happens to the best of us and the worst of us and, like, the in-between of us. Oh, man. Dude, I, I'm just so excited for the future. Let's let's, let's just go ahead and... Uh, we're going to win this super easily, actually. The answer is actually we're not going to win this super easily. We're actually going to tie. And you know what? I'm okay with tie. With a tie, rather. Ties in general, probably not okay with them. They 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 hurt. They feel like they're choking. I love how I'm not getting uh, upgraded units. That's pretty fun. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. It's great. It's a fantastic time. I'm gonna go ahead and just buy the ant pill. It. We'll freeze this pill. Roll one. See what we get. Swan is just too good of a unit to pass up. And as for what else to get, there's really I really don't want either of these. Can I get a duplicate? No. The answer is no. I cannot get a duplicate. You know what? We're going to try to get a Tabby Cat to rank 3 today. That's what I'm going to do. That's what today is going to be. That's what, not today, but that's what this, that's what this game is going to be about. We're going to be trying to run this Tabby Cat. This Tabby Cat's going to get to a million, level a million. It, Tabby Cat falls off at like <laughs> two rounds after you're, you're able to buy it, by the way. So honestly, Tabby Cat's just, it's incredibly useless <laughs> as a unit, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, all right, so this is how we're gonna go about this, right? We're gonna first combine these guys, try to get a decent unit. That's actually a decent unit. Uh, we've been giving the attack over to the bluebird since we're gonna try to roll the cabby, the cabby tat. Yep, tabby cat long term. We're gonna actually go ahead and swap out the placements. We're gonna sell the beetle. We're gonna buy the fish. We're gonna go ahead and give meat to the tabby cat. And now we only have three gold left, so there's really nothing I can do except roll three times and just see what I can get. All right, we'll freeze that. And we'll freeze a fish. Alright, so, like I was saying, Tabby Cat, absolutely useless unit. Awful unit. Terrible. Like, it would, it would, the Tabby Cat would sincerely, like, be, be usable if, like, the passive was changed to maybe give it, uh, each time it eats food, it gives a one attack permanent buff to all units. It would be, like, a little bit strong early. But it would fall off extremely quickly, but not as quickly as it currently falls off. Currently, the Tabby Cat falls off so quickly, it's actual insanity. Garlic on the fish, for sure. Do I want a Salad? The answer is no. Alright, we'll go ahead and end our turn. And we want, we're looking for targeted foods for our Tabby Cat. Each turn, we're gonna strive to like buff the tabby cat even the small, the slightest bit. See how about uh, see about how that works. I was gonna say, do we lose this? The answer is we don't lose it. We tie it. Damn it! Not enough health. I mean, if you're gonna twist my arm. So like I said, we're endeavoring to feed the tabby cat at least one time per turn. As for what we're going to do beyond that, I honestly, honestly, I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue, man. All I know is the next thing to go is definitely the bluebird. I really should swap positions of the tabby cat over with the uh, fish. Having garlic fish in the back is not the worst idea in the world. And luckily, we're going we're gonna to just swing through two of his... Wow, this guy had some really, really bad units. Jesus, man. Feel kind of bad. I'm running a tabby cat over here and I'm winning. Literally one of the worst units in the game. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Um. Ba -ba -da. So we're gonna start with freezing you, unfreezing you. I've I've kept you frozen for too long. Seeing what we get. Okay. So we got one of these. 
that doesn't help us. No, that doesn't help us. We, 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 if ideally we would want, um, we would want something that makes food cheaper. So this is what we're going to do. Goodbye. Hello. Swap placement. I can no longer afford the apple. That's fine. That's life. We'll actually, uh, freeze the garlic for next turn. Maybe, dude, maybe we can get a level two, a level T, a level three tabby cat. It might end up being the play. Realistically, our fish in the front's looking pretty good. Are we going to win this? We are totally going to win this extremely easily. Yeah, because that, that ladybug in the back can't, can't get through all my units. It's important to have like an anchor in the back that's like really strong. Obviously, in lieu of that, I, I can't really have an anchor in the back that's really strong. But, you know, in lieu of that, just try to have two like very large units. That's a targeted buff. We'll take that next turn if we don't get an upgrade here. That's an upgraded level 3 fish. That is a poodle that we're definitely going to take. That hatching chick is gone next turn. Two, two, one, three. Okay, so we're going to want the swan to get the buff. It doesn't matter. We can re reconfigure the entire party next turn. Dude, honestly, Tabby Cat's, Tabby Cat's so bad, man. Like, it, need, it needs to be, like, a permanent buff, man. Like, if you feed it, it needs to be a permanent one buff on level one, two buff on level two. Because getting things to level two is, is difficult in this game regardless, so... It's not like it's it's not like it's gonna be, like, overwhelming. Like, what? You get one extra attack, you get ten attack on each unit. Over the... Well, actually, that is that is a lot. Over the course of, like, one turn, you get four, f four stat points? It, it feeds everyone? Friends, yeah, so... Four stat points for three gold. I mean, you know, it would make it strong early game, late game. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how you'd feel about a late game, but uh, I know how I feel about this. So we're gonna do that. Swan will end up going in the front. It's the only place it can go. We'll go ahead and give a targeted buff to you. Another targeted buff to you. We're gonna roll. If it was if it was like the the ladybug where it got where it like buffed itself for two attack if you ate a food it'd be pretty cool not it not not the tabby cat itself but a, a friendly unit obviously that's not the case we're not looking to actually swap any of our units at this point in time well maybe uh, no I don't really want to get rid of the fish honestly I think we're stuck with the party we have now up until the point where we get a sauropod then the tropical fish can go but as of right now I'm pretty content with how the party looks. Like, the extra 1 HP from the uh, Tropical Fish isn't amazing, but it's it's helpful. It's incredibly helpful. Nice, my fish survives. Just long enough to take two of their boys out. <laughs> the guy's running horses. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, we don't need another fish. Dude, by now I could have gotten a sweet, a sweet, huge hatching chick. That would have been awesome. Dude, a chicken's so cute, man. I wish, I wish I could run chicken, man. I love the thought of running a chicken, but like, you just, you can't do it, man. You can't do it in this game. You can't run a chicken because it's tier 5. Tier 4, chicken would be usable. Tier At tier 5, chicken's not usable unless you literally can die three times and be perfectly okay with it. Or have like some additional enablers like uh, like the goat, for example, who uh, gives you gold back at, uh, on each buy, or the or the buffalo who gets more powerful off each buy, etc., etc. Also, that guy had a lot of attack. Jesus, man, that guy have a bluebird? I wasn't even paying attention. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just kind of like rolling through because I'm pretty sure I'm good here. Like I am super good. In fact, we like I said before, we no longer need that guy. He's tier four, so five, two, two, one, two. Okay, that's fine. This has a thirty-three percent chance of uh, not a thirty, a sixty percent chance of hitting him. Roughly, I actually don't know the actual numbers. It's probably less. That's fun. This is actually kind of fun. We'll get rid of the swan for the T-Rex, and then everything on our team will get buffs. Uh, beyond that, we'll just go pizza, because pizza had a 40% chance. Obviously, I don't think those numbers are absolutely 100% correct, but they're close enough to what it probably actually is that I'm, actually, I'm okay with just saying it. Now that we got rid of the fish, we no longer get the two stat points, but we get four instead just by holding the buffalo. 
Buffalo buffs itself just straight up. Dude, this guy also had a level 3 fish? Good for you. Good for you, buddy. Uh, we are totally not going to get through that. He's going to get through two of our units, but it's 100% okay because we are going to obliterate everything and he's going to give us a level 2 dirty rat in the back. We're going to get rid of you for sure, right? Here's here's here here here's where where I uh, I don't know what to do right, cause I obviously I I love a sauropod man for food but like we're not gonna be like buying a million foods anymore it's not really gonna happen. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go T Rex dude we're gonna go T Rex and then we're just gonna we're just gonna let it rock man. All right, I can't afford to do that yet. Okay. I'm just going to go T-Rex and let it rock, man. You know what? Call this my confidence building building, building uh, run. The thing that sucks about this run, dude, is I couldn't get a level 3. I can't get a level 3 Tabby Cat. It's just not appearing. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, this is really bad. That guy had a ton of melon armor. And my front unit's just not strong enough. Uh, we have we have one one uh, one round of leeway. At this point in time, snail. There's no point in getting it. There is no point in getting the snail. Let's get garlic armor on you. Tabby cat gets fed, and then I mean that's it. That's that's our turn. A tyrannosaurus is a really good like unit to win the game. The earlier you get it, obviously, the earlier you get it, the better. And if you get duplicates, you're you're swimming. Without a swan, like, helping out with, like, the enabling of it, it's just not great. Oh, that's actually fantastic. Yeah, we win this one, no problem. We are still one away from dying, though, so... <laughs> Alright, forget what I said. Level 3 Tabby Cat. Not who I wanted it on, but that's okay. We'll freeze a poodle, why not? It doesn't really matter at this point in time. What we're looking for right now is either chili or steak. We're gonna either put we're gonna put a chili on the uh, on the buffalo or the bison on the bison and we're gonna put steak on the one of the two back units. It sucks that my boy over here doesn't have enough attack to get through one of his units. And then the peacock just barely had enough attack to take out my boy. Just barely, man. Alright, we are on the last win. At this point in time, uh, there's nothing I can get to level 3. Uh, I could always sell the Poodle and get another T-Rex, that way I can get 4-2, uh, but that's not worth it because this boy is already having a great time. Didn't hit the unit I wanted, that's fine, that's life. Uh, what the hell are we doing here? You know what, in case we tie... in case Oh, I should have kept the T-Rex, why did I not do that? <laughs> Whatever. In case for some reason we don't end up winning, we can go ahead and, uh, ooh, yeah, we're going to lose here. Ooh, this guy got some great luck. Yep, it wouldn't have mattered, we wouldn't have gotten through his last unit. Alright, we were one away from lethal, should have kept that T-Rex, moron me didn't. Happens, we're all, some of us are morons sometimes, you know? Nice of you to show up again. I wish I would have gotten both of you. That way, I would have had a great situation right here. At this point in time, we have to either get a stake on the bison or the poodle. Bison. Alright, we have a level 3 tabby cat. This is the last round we have. If we don't win this one, we lose forever. Wow. That's a powerful scorpion, man. We still win, but Jesus, man, that scorpion was able to get through our melon armor because it had it just had more attack. That's how that worked, right? So this it only oh if it does any sort of damage. Okay, it's like so it's a, like actual peanuts. If a peanut even touches you, you you like you go into a fit. If you even take one point of damage, one point of actual damage from the scorpion, he damages you. So the play is if you want to try to get more than one kill with the scorpion, you gotta get it above 20 attack, because melon armor blocks 20 damage. Okay, well, it not blocks, I guess, it absorbs the damage. Blocks would imply that you still, it still touched you. Block would imply that it still touched, but it, but you 
or strong enough to mitigate it. Absorb is literally absorbing the entirety of the attack. So the melon absorbs the peanuts. What am I saying? I'm okay. All right, we are okay. I'm okay. We won the first round. Level three tabby cat. We made it, man. The, honestly, I have no idea how we managed to win that. I'm gonna be 100% with you. I really don't know how this squad ended up being in this position, but let's go ahead and move forward.